One of the most common questions I get as an HVAC contractor in Sacramento is which gas furnace systems are the best? Now, I see a ton of articles online about this and well, these bloggers are telling people that nationally recognized economy line systems are better than those that will truly last you a long time. Just like my summer post in 2022 on which AC systems are the best, I've always felt like three manufacturers have had the best reputation for the last few decades. And in no particular order, they are Train, American Standard, Carrier, Bryant, and Linux. Now, before I list the rest of the systems, I wanna mention furnace systems come fully assembled at the factory and they're ready to work. However, it takes experienced technicians to modify the unit per the manufacturer's instructions to conform to your specific home's demands. If they're not set up correctly, you'll find your new system not lasting nearly as long as it could have been. It can be the difference between your system lasting 10 years or 20 years. So this video is really revolves around consumer reports and they asked th over 36,000 gas furnace owners who had their system installed between 2005 and 2021. Their owner satisfaction ratings are based on the percentage of members who are likely to recommend their gas furnace brands to friends and family. Okay, so the manufacturers of today's residential heating and cooling systems are Rheem, who also makes Rude, Daikin, who also makes Goodman, Amana, Daikin, and Janitrol. There's Bosch as a manufacturer, and they recently started making their own systems, pretty good systems too. We sell their inverter split systems and package units. Then there's Nortec, a manufacturer who makes Intertherm, Maytag, Frigidaire, Nordine. Uh, then there's Johnson Controls, and they manufacture York, Coleman, and Luxair. Then there's another manufacturer, International Comfort Products, or ICP, who makes several other brands. And the most prominent of those are Day and Night, Tempstar, Comfort Maker, Heil, and Keepright. Linux also makes Armstrong, Duquesne, Airflow, and Concord. Carrier also makes Payne and Weathermaker. Train also makes Ameristar, Runtrue, and Oxbox. So isn't it crazy that the limited numbers of true manufacturers there are, but the 30 plus brands that we have to choose from? No wonder it's hard to determine the best gas furnace for 2023. Here's where they fell as far as owner satisfaction. And keep in mind that some of these brands like Bosch, Daikin, and some others didn't make the Consumer Reports survey due to their obscurity and low number of installations during that 2005 to 2021 timeframe. So highest rated for owner satisfaction was a five out of five rating. And those were Train and American Standard which is still just that one manufacturer, Train and American Standard. They're both made in the same factories all over America. And it's just that they have a different sticker on the name tag of them. With a four out of five rating, you have second place for owner satisfaction being Carrier uh, and Bryant. So Carrier and Bryant go hand in hand, just like Train and American Standard do. And then uh, Linux also got a four out of five rating. Then you got your mid-tier HVAC systems. And I mentioned mid-tier systems who honestly, I just feel like break down uh, a little bit more than say your higher tier systems. And the same goes for the lower tier systems that we'll mention in a minute uh, compared to the mid-tier systems. So with a three out of five rating, you get Ream, Rude, Armstrong, Concord, Duquesne, Amana, Comfort Maker, um, Day and Night has a three out of five rating. Heil, Keep Right, Tempstar, Payne. Uh, Payne's also made by Carriers. Their economy line is a rated three out of five. Goodman, rated three out of five. Coleman, Luxair, and York. All those mid tier systems rated three out of five by Consumer Reports. And then your true lower tier HVAC systems and furnaces are going to be Frigidaire, Maytag, and Westinghouse. And all three of those got two out of five rating on Consumer Reports. When you start looking for a vehicle, you pretty much have a brand name in mind. And you might get a higher or lower end model with fewer bells and whistles, but maybe you've just always felt comfortable driving a GMC truck over a Toyota truck. 
And that's very similar to what you're going to experience when buying furnaces. A lot of people just like these certain manufacturers and brand names. And some of them really don't mind what the brand names are because maybe it's for a property rental or something like that. They're just looking for something very economy. And that's fine. You, you know, you sort of get what you pay for when it comes to those. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I see a ton of articles online about this topic and many of them who someone who's not even in the industry wrote. Paid blog writers have no clue. You got to take it from someone who actually installs them and services the equipment out in the field. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.